topic, like I said, is Bernoulli's trial or binomial distribution probability. And with binomial distribution probability, we use it to calculate when we have two outcomes of an experiment, okay? So assuming someone is going to write an exam and a person will pass or fail, okay? Or when we throw a die, or when we toss a coin, it can either fall on the head or a tail. We can use what we call the Bernoulli's trial to calculate it. And the Bernoulli's trial says that when we want the probability, this is equal to x is equal to whatever we want. If it is exactly 3 or something, whatever it is that we want, it's equal to n combination x. So we have probability of x and then q raised to the power n minus x. Now, the P is for success, and then the Q is for failure, okay? Now, so which means that our Q is equal to 1 minus P, okay? Because success plus failure is equal to 1. So our Q is equal to 1 minus P. Now, suppose we have a question like this. Um, the probability, the probability that shatter, Ah, uh, my man Shata. Shata Wale will win an award is 7 over 8. If he is nominated in five categories, find, calculate the probability that He wins exactly three categories. And then B, calculate the probability that he wins at most two categories. So assuming we have a question like this, okay? The probability that Shatawale will win an award is 7 over 8. So in this case, in our solution, we shall have that, we shall have probability that x is equal to x. This is equal to, now, the number of um, categories is being nominated for is 5. So we shall have our n is equal to 5. So we shall have 5 combination x. And then our success, OK? The probability that he will win is 7 over 8. So we shall have 7 over 8. Okay, to the power x, and then the failure. Now, if success is 7 over 8, if p is equal to 7 over 8, then q will be equal to 1 minus 7 over 8, which is 1 over 8. So our failure is also 1 over 8 raised to the power n minus x, which will be our n is 5, so 5 minus x. So we shall use this to now calculate for the solution. So the failure is just the probability that he will not win the award. So 7 over 8 is for winning, and then failure is not winning the award is 1 over 8. Now, A says that we should find that he wins exactly three of the categories, okay, or three of the awards. So probability for x is equal to 3. So he winning 3, we shall have 5 combination 3, then we have 7 over 8 raised to the power 3. And then 1 over 8 raised to the power 5 minus 3 is what? 2. So when we calculate this, this is going to give us, our uh, 5 combination 3 is going to give us, we have 10 times 7 over 8 all cube. We have 3, 4, 3 over 5, 1, 2 times 1 over 64. So when we calculate all this, our final answer becomes, so we have 0 0.104675, okay? So this is um, Shatawale winning exactly three categories. Now, we are also told to find, so we move to B, and B is we should find the probability that he wins at most two categories. So if he wins at most two categories, it means the highest is two at most. So the highest is two. So it can happen that um, for probability of at most two, this means maybe Shatawale didn't win any award, x is equal to zero, 
or so let me write it down here so probability that x is equal to zero he didn't win anything or he won only one award x is equal to one or x is equal to what two that's at most two so solving this we shall have for x equals to zero when x is zero we shall have probability that x is equal to zero we shall have sorry we shall have five combinations zero then we have seven over eight all raised to the power zero and then one over eight all raised to the power five then x is equal to one he wins only one award so we shall have five combination one then seven over eight all raised to the power one and then we have one over eight all raised to the power five minus one which is four and then for him we need two awards at most two so the highest is two so we have five combination two then seven over eight all raised to the power two and then one over eight all raised to the power three which is five minus two so we calculate this and we shall get our final answer to be equal to press pause so five combination one will give us one seven over eight raised to the power zero is, will also give us one one over eight all raised to the power five will give us um, when we calculate this we shall get 0 0.000305 0 0.000 so five combination zero is one seven over eight raised to the power zero is one then we have one over eight raised to the power five when we calculate this this will give us 0 0.000 Zero three zero five. So we have one, two, three, four, four zeros, and then we have three zero five. Then plus five combination one will also give us uh, five or so. Then seven over eight times one over eight raised to the power four. When you put this, this will also give us zero point zero zero one. Then we have zero six eight. Then plus the last one, five combination two, that will also give us ten <coughs> times. <coughs> um, 7 over 8, which will be 49 over 64, times 1 over 8, all raised to the power 3. This will give us 0 0.001495. And when we calculate all this, <coughs> and we add them together, we shall get 0 0.016, 05211, 05211. So this is <coughs> the probability that he won at most two awards, okay? Which is 0 0.01605211. Okay, so with this, let's solve a wasi question and uh, binomial probability. <laughs>